What? How are you? Sandra, can I see you in the dining room, please? Turn oh, everything off. God. I need you in. Let's go. Okay, I'm going around it. Correct. Right. Let's go. Can you two join me as well, please? Gordon Ramsay? What? That's Gordon Ramsay. Whoa. <laughs> Did not know that was about to happen. Ladies and gentlemen, stop eating, all of you. Put down your knife and forks. I'm not for words. OK. What I've just experienced, sat over there with my fellow colleagues, clearly have no respect for customers. You just don't care Lies. anymore. That's a lie. I am here to make food. I am here to please your palates. What part of that was pleasing? You and your team, I want you to follow me. Everybody outside, I want to show you something that I think you especially should look at. Let's go. All of you, follow me. This is Hell on Wheels. That's my engine room. State-of-the-art kitchen. Over the last few weeks, my team have been inside Sandra D's. And it's interesting how staff perform when they don't know they're being watched. I want you all to have a look at what I'm about to show you. I've gone back twice now, and I'm still... What is wrong with you? <gasps> oh, my Lord. Tell them don't ever microwave California. We've lost a lot of customers because of Tatiana's mouth. I can't read off all of our sites. You would have to look on our menu online. Tatiana, she comes at customers sometimes. Tatiana, I'll give two. What about it? I gave him my check. How she talks to people. It's hard to work with. Or hey. Hey, little bitch, flip seven and eight. David! Yeah? This shit don't say to go. Look at my ticket. I don't know what this says. Lena, yeah. don't sell no more gumbo. I just have this one. I'm Let's right. Just listen to what I just said, OK? After you're done with that, don't sell no more, OK? All right. Thank you. you. Guys complaining about their order taking too long. Don't come in here telling us what somebody doing outside. Just deal with them. Whenever they say light, you put fucking light seasoning on there. Shut the fuck up, Rodney. Ain't nobody. That's it. Light. What? Oh, God. Sandra, anything? Is there any passion left, or are you, are you done? My passion is there. I just don't like to be attacked. I, I... Especially in front of everyone, so that was I wouldn't give a fuck about everybody. No. You do. Really, I don't. Right. And who's attacking you? You are the way I you came. You. Yeah, the way you came up in there, just attacking me. I love what I do in the kitchen. Right. Okay. I love what Stop I do. Stop there. In the Which part do you love? I like creating in the kitchen. I right. like cooking in my kitchen. Microwaving. I. The way he came at me is very embarrassing. I'm very, very angry. I'm from the streets. I fight dudes. It's nothing to me. Sandra, no one attacked you. I just told you the truth. I'm here to help, but I can pack this rig in 60 minutes and get the fuck out of here. You still want to fight? Do you want help? We need everybody in the kitchen. Uh, young man, you can come over. It's going to ranch. That's it? Yes. You shut everything down? Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, listen up. Stop eating. Gentlemen, knife and fork's down. The restaurant is closed. First of all, I've just witnessed one of the most appalling lunches I've ever eaten. My guests couldn't even find a clam. The salad was rotten, and the dressing tasted like it was made 10 years ago. Um, when you attacked my guests, is that how you deal with customers? I thought they were very irritating from the beginning. I just wanted them to know. I'm amazed you can stand up straight. The size of the chip on your shoulder. So, well, what size chip should I have? Let me just ask you. As a fucking my, my dad put a million dollars in the no. place and I'm failing him. Oh, yeah. What chip do you want yeah. on me? No the chip. The restaurant's on. No it. chip. No chip. Because if you're not in that fit state of mind to respect what little customers you have, you shouldn't be fucking in here. Okay. Period. Okay. I got a question for both of you. Do you want my help? Yes or no? Yes, I do. 
I need it more than my life. Ladies, gentlemen, I need all of you out of this restaurant and I want you to follow me now. Let's go. Let's go, please. Oh, Hell on Wheels. Hell on Wheels. This is Hell on Wheels. It is the engine room and the heartbeat of my operation. The talent and the amount of knowledge inside that truck is extraordinary. Listen carefully. There's something you should know. My team has been coming to this restaurant undercover for quite some time to find out what is really going on. I'd like all of you to take a look at what I discovered whilst my team were undercover. Please, pay attention, all of you. I think the restaurant, it is very old fashioned. We now only had 10 people all week. I made more money when I was fucking 16. In the kitchen, it smells like it has a smell. <gasps> oh my God. What is wrong with you? <gasps> oh my God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, you need that car. Don't laugh, it's not funny. What I saw in the video was disgusting. I couldn't believe I ate there. It was just, ugh, it was gross. I want to, I wanted to puke. Don't be fucking blaming everything on me! Well, why is this business going down in the dumps? Everyone blames me! I'm sick of it! Oh, come on. Then he loses the tap of the place and it becomes a frenzy. Fucking asinine. The whole kitchen's fucked. You scumbag motherfucker. Fucking jerk off. Oh, listen, I'm cooking my fucking oh, pasta. Fuck this, uh... Fuck you! I'm fucking stuck here! Destroying my This is family. what you wanted. This is what you dream. Right. It's my dream. I fucked everybody. I live with that every day. Unfucking believable. Let me tell you something. Even though it may appear that all of you have given up, maybe I'm bitter, hateful, and disgusted inside, and it shows. But I never gave up. Okay. Don't say I gave up. It's disgusting behavior, Vinny. Jerry, you ever feel your father every day? Did you? I'm asking you a question. My father died 20 years okay, ago. I'm... Okay, I'm very sorry for that, because dad and mom mean everything to me. If, if you failed your father every day, let me say it the right way, would you feel good about every day going to work? If. Would you? If... I'm asking you a question. Excuse me, can I see the owners, please? Yes, Thank you. one of the owners. This is. Patrick. Patrick, how are you? Nice to meet you. Likewise. Uh, is mum upstairs? And Fred. Can you yeah. get for me, please? Yeah. Fred back here. Hey, Fred. Gordon Ramsay is here. Gordon Ramsay is here. Yeah, he wants you out there. Gabby, come on. Gordon Ramsay, how are you? Dan, how are you? Fred Hahn, nice to meet you. Uh, likewise, good to see you too. Can you send that back, please? Who? Gordon Ramsay. What? Yeah. Alice. Alice, nice to see you. You well? Wow. Let's just get one thing clear. I've just been sat out there for the last hour, eating some of the worst food I've ever tasted in my entire career. Really? Yeah. Wow. How's business been, generally? Bad. Bad? Yeah. Why do you think business is bad? It's not a lot of customers. Every other business this afternoon, and has been for the last three hours, have been packed. Why do people come here? Um... Should I tell you? Because they can't get in anywhere else. Oh, OK. Yeah. This is not Patrick Malloy's, this is the last resort. I'm pretty pissed. I thought it was good. You get most feedback is pretty positive. Oh, fucking hell. I've got some bad news for all four of you. Excuse me two seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, stop eating. Forks down. Everybody, the restaurant is closed. All of you, follow me outside, right now. Let's go. Let me introduce you to Hell on Wheels, in the heart of my command center. And more importantly, every individual behind there are serious experts. Over the last few weeks, your restaurant has been under surveillance. I want you all to have a look. I am horrified. It's fucking embarrassing. It's gonna be okay. I know. These tables are so sticky. It's disgusting. Kissing in the middle of service. 
got the owner of the sun that doesn't come around that much. It's here every day for like an hour. You want to be the top dog? I don't care about that though. Actually, you do. Yeah. Oh my god. I want to be out of here seven fucking years ago and I can't get out of here. That's fucking honestly. I, I wonder, well, that's really no, I'm not that's a swear like that. We need someone to stand up and say, I run this fucking place. You gotta do that and you don't do that. Dude, this is gross. Wow. Jesus Christ the lights. Oh my god. Ugh. I cannot believe we just ate here. Shocking. I mean, it's just disappointing because you expect people to be up to code. and Probably It's going to take a big turnaround <laughs> for me to come back here. Cross-contamination, raw chicken with cooked food. That's unacceptable. Excuse me? That's unacceptable. You're right. We're doing it wrong. You go to the gym and you walk in your restaurant half fucking naked. You know, you're just, it's something that you're used to doing. and. It's just bad habits. You're running a business. It's not a catwalk. I didn't know how unprofessional I look until I saw it on the big screen. It's pretty embarrassing. We've got 24 hours to turn this business around. Ladies and gentlemen, I need all of you to follow me. Let's go. OK. Everybody. I would like to introduce you to something close to my heart. This is Hell on Wheels. That's my engine room. State-of-the-art kitchen travels all over the country with me 24-7. And more importantly, every individual behind there are serious experts. But listen up, all of you. This will be a shock for you all. Recently, I've had my top team inside your restaurant, Dustin, undercover filming surveillance for weeks. I had to stop you from eating in there, and this is the reason why. Take a look. I'll take a coffee and a water, please. I did not say I was going to bring everybody some water. I said, would you like to drink besides water? You don't hear well, huh? No, What's wrong I don't. with you? Oh, man. Oh, God. <laughs> Disgusting. Oh, God, I just lost my abscess. I think that's a roach leg in there. I'm sorry, I don't drink anything from here, so. That was nuts. Oh, my Lord. Oh, man. Oh, you didn't just lick the plate. What is wrong with you? Oh, man. Horrible. Ooh, look at that big bastard. You invading his privacy when you come back yeah. here. What was that? Oh, jeez. Six top for Stuart Little. Look at them rats. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. This is crazy. <gasps> oh, my God. No, no, no. Oh, my Lord. Wow. Oh, man. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, no. No. Ugh. <laughs> Disgusting. I don't go again. Never again in this place. Never. Do you understand why I asked you to stop eating? That's disgusting. Unprofessional. I've been to thousands of restaurants. I've never seen anything yeah. as shambolic and disgusting as that. You've lost your passion, it shows, in the service, licking food off the side of the plate. I am incredibly embarrassed, mortified. Most I can't even say, because I'm just totally humiliated. Anyone to speak up? Dustin, give me something, young man. I'm ashamed of it. Bloody right you should be. Dustin, I'm willing to help. But I'm not here for six months. I've only got 24 hours. That's not a lot of time. That's right, not a lot of time. If you can't commit to 24 hours unconditionally, then it's never going to work. In these next 24 hours, I'm going to commit everything I've got 
learned, understood. My team, I can put everything into it, but I can't do it unless you're prepared to give everything you've got. Are you sure you want my help? Yes. I am. I can't hear you. Yes. 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 To be honest, I don't think it's possible. In 24 hours, you cannot do that. Get on your, your cell phones and ring home and tell them you're not going to be seeing them for the next 24 hours because the clock starts now.